What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about what games you buy and why you buy them. Techland just released Dying Light for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And by all accounts, the game looks pretty impressive. I know for a long time I've been looking at footage and video clips and, and pictures of it. And for all intents and purposes, I'm a big fan of zombie games. I love zombie games. I love zombie movies. I think zombie is probably my favorite horror genre, to be honest. Uh, but I did not buy Dying Light. I didn't, I, I'm waiting on it. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know why. And, and I want to hear from you guys what you buy. Anyway, I didn't get Dying Light because it's a brand new game. I don't know what to expect. A lot of games lately have been released broken. Uh, and I feel like from what I've seen, especially now with a lot of the gameplay videos I've watched, it really borrows heavily from the Dead Island series. Of course, it's made by Techland, the same company that made Dead Island. But it seems like a Dead Island DLC almost. It seems very similar. The melee looks the same. The movement looks very similar. The only thing that looks different is the ability to jump around uh, and go vertical and, uh, you know, the parkour elements. But other than that, it does seem really, really similar to the Dead Island series. Games like this, I sometimes wait on because, uh, you know, with me working the long hours that I work and getting home so late and having kids and having a family, I have to really choose the games I really want to play. It has to be something that really interests me, like a game like Evolve. I have to play this. I played the demo, played, played the beta, I know it's an amazing game. So stuff like that I'm definitely going to get. I'm looking forward to The Order 1886, but I probably won't get that day one because I know there's a big question mark over that game on whether or not it's uh, you know going to be a good game or be a terrible one. Uh, I have to play games I make time for, and games like Dying Light, I don't know if I'll have the time for it. As much as I want Dragon Age, I know right now I don't have time to play it. And so I'm going to wait till things change. Luckily for me, my shift in my hours of work is changing. So I'll probably have more time to play games like this. But Dying Light is something I didn't get yet. If you're playing it, let me know in the comments below. Is it worth picking up day one? Is it a new experience? Is it something that they haven't done before that we've never experienced in the gaming world? If that's the case, I may have to go pick it up. As always, thanks for all the support, guys. All the thumbs up mean the world to me. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.